We met in 2014. He was in Nebraska, <laughs> I was in Seattle. He flew out and then I moved to Nebraska two months later. It was fast. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Matt. And, and this, this is LGBTQ Nations, Nations on the Road, presented, presented by Toyota. Toyota. Portland is one of the best cities to live in because there's so much to see and do. And the RAV4 Prime is the perfect vehicle for exploring. With an advanced gas and electric powertrain, RAV4 Prime delivers the power you crave with a smooth, comfortable ride. That's powered to outdo the ordinary. Let's hit the road. When we met, I was like, okay, I will move to Nebraska and be with you while you finish dental school. But once you're finished, we're moving back to the West Coast. Yeah. And I was like, twist my arm. <laughs> so there's so many neighborhoods in Portland that just each have their own personality. And so I just recommend people to hit all of these different neighborhoods because you're going to kind of hit different little cities within a city. Yeah. I mean, I think Portland is sort of like a food experiment city. So like people will gravitate towards something new. And if it takes off, it takes off. So a lot of food carts have transitioned into like brick and mortar stores or yes. brick and mortar restaurants. Yeah. And I think like the big draw to it is it's really cheap, affordable, delicious food. It's not disgusting, it tastes great, and it's not going to cost you a ton of money. It's like one of Matthew's favorite places to take people. I always take people to Powell's Books it's like the when first they come stop. here. It has to be one of the first stops because it's like a historic staple to downtown Portland. Uh, it's been there for, I don't know, since Portland existed. <laughs> what we love about the LGBTQ community here is one that it's like quite large. Portland is known for being quite a queer city and it feels kind of like a big family. So Scandals is sort of like what we call the living room of Portland. It'll just be completely packed. Yeah, I'd say for how people gather in Portland, it's a city, but it can kind of feel like a small town. It's yeah. easy to get around. So for better or for worse, everybody kind of knows everybody. <laughs> and I love that. Since the queer community is so large, here, people are very accustomed to seeing same-sex couples. And here, I think it's just like probably the most comfortable place, I think, to be a same-sex couple also raising kids. And so we are in the process of starting a family and we're very excited. I think Portland's a great place to raise kids, specifically because it's so open to different ideas. It's a great place for kids to play outdoors. There is a lot of nature out there, and so it's, it's a really nice area to grow up. And I think it's kind of hard not to be eco-conscious when you're in a place like Portland because you're surrounded by nature. It's right here. It's in your face all the time. And I think everybody who's grown up here and has spent a lot of time in Portland agrees that that is yeah. just like such a big part of the culture here. I think when you're surrounded by nature, you're surrounded by trees. It's just one of the things that people come here for and they don't want that to be threatened, obviously. And I love Toyota's Beyond Zero initiative because I feel like they've been innovating in hybrid plug-in electric vehicles for so long that it's just part of their brand at this point. It's a fact of life. You have to be environmentally conscious. We have to take care of the world for our kids and future generations. So like, it's a part of life. You have to consider the environment.